I, w I want to touch on some of the stuff you've done outside of the ring. I know you've done a lot of charity work and have helped out with different events or fundraisers, benefits. What kinds of things can you tell me about that you've done outside of wrestling to help out in your community? Oh, we, we used to do a lot of golf events. Before I had all the back surgeries, I was a pretty decent golfer. And, um, you know, banquets, we'd head up banquets, fundraisers for children's hospitals. Uh, oh, my God, we did so many of them. I can't even remember all of them. You know, all the different organizations. Wrestling was so hot that we usually have myself and maybe three or four other wrestlers there for the events, going over to the children's hospital and spending time with the kids, Ronald McDonald House. Uh, we've done, <laughs> there aren't too many that we missed. Was but, there like know, that's all part of being an, a, you know, a recognizable athlete. You know, some, the guys that, that do that really do well in the sport and represent the sport. There's other guys that don't want to take the time to do that. And I don't have time for people like that. And there was a lot of them in our industry that didn't. But today, and I mean, the ones that Vern trained, we were all, we knew, we knew the, we knew the deal. When we were called, we better be there and treat the people right and spend time with them. I know Jim and I went up, one little guy had cancer and we went up and saw him, brought him some red hats and stuff and brought him the belts and took pictures with him. And we walked out of this, and he was just smiling and so full of energy. Before we got home, we got a call. He had passed away about 15 minutes after we left. And man, did that one hit home. I still get choked up talking about it. But, you know, those are the things you do. Um, it's just, it, it's part of, it's part of who you are and what you represent. And um, as a professional, you really need to take the time for the people that support you. And uh, that's the way we were taught by Vern and everybody that came out of his camp, we put in the time, but it wasn't, it wasn't like a job for us. We wanted to do it. I mean, these are the people that support us. Without them, we're nothing, you know. And that little guy was bigger than life. Very heart heart wrenching. Ooh, that's a tough one to even talk about today. Yeah. Well, what is it about giving back to you that that gives you joy? Gives you the most joy? Oh man, when you when you just see their faces. I mean, this little guy, like his parents said, man, we never see him with so much energy. The doctors and nurses there said, "Oh my God," but it, it was like that all the time. You know, when you go in and you you see them light up, uh, it's it's a it's a great feeling. You know, sometimes you've been on the road and you're tired and you go, "Oh God, I have to go do this," and then you you know you have to and you go and then you see how much you mean and how much enjoyment and how much light you put on put on for them that God, it's uh it's really moving. Yeah.